Iron Sheets Coding our Telecommunication Encoder Level 2 Support. Our task is to send a three letter message. The example here is Sky and it's already been broken apart into its first letter, second letter, and third letter. Each letter technically is called a byte of information. Now our encoder is going to encode one letter at a time. So I'm going to start with the first letter or the first byte of information. So I click on the cell and I'm going to put in a capital S. Now down here we have to do several things with this information in order to encode it into a wave. The first thing we're going to do is find the decimal number of capital S in the ASCII code. ASCII has been more recently renamed to Unicode 8, which is universal across the world for 8 bits. And so capital S is always 83 in the ASCII or Unicode 8 tables. So let's get the computer to do that for us though, because as we change it, we'll want it to find the new number for whatever letter we put in. So I'm down here at the code one. I'm going to put an equal sign. And actually the function name for this is actually code. So let's code this letter in parentheses. So I clicked in H7 and then in parentheses and it's showing me it's 83. So look up any ASCII table or Unicode 8 table. The 83rd one down will be capital S. The next thing we need to do is convert this to its digital or binary number. So it's digital signal which is in binary zeros and ones. All right, so we got to convert decimal to binary. And again, this function is going to make sense to you. So equal sign, decimal has been shortened to DEC. Then the number two in binary has been shortened to BIN. So decimal to binary. And then we want to go grab this cell, F12. And it lost the first zero. So we need to tell it to always output eight digits. So I'm going to put comma 8 in parentheses and then return. Now you can see a lot of information has already been encoded for us, but what's happened here? We took the 8-bit binary number and just broke it apart into each of its bits. So this is the 2 raised to the 0 is the 1's column. We have one of those, so it shows the decimal is one. Here's the twos column. We have one of those, so it's a two. The fours, we don't have any, so it's a zero. Eights, sixteens, thirty twos, sixty fours, and one twenty eight. Now you can see we've already FM encoded it, frequency modulation. So the zero was low frequency, the one was high frequency. And you can see we have the signals over here, zeros, ones. All right. Let us do it for the amplitude modulation. So I'm going to click on code 3. We need an if statement here. So equal sign if parentheses this cell is equal to 0 comma we want it to output the wave with the amplitude that represents 0. So that's F14 comma if that's not the case, we know it's a 1. So I'm just going to click on G14 in parentheses. Now, as we slide this, we're going to always want to grab these two cells. So I'm going to go back and put dollar signs in front of the F and the 14, and then the G and the 14. So that looks good. Now we can, we can drag this, but we'll lose our formatting. So I'm going to copy this, control C, select these cells, but now I'm going to go up here and paste special. And I want to paste the formula only, paste formula only. 
And there we are. We have now programmed our encoder to tell us how to amplitude modulate it. It'd be low amplitude, high amplitude, low amplitude, high amplitude, low amplitude, low amplitude again, high amplitude, high amplitude again. And then we could send 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1.